As they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, and they compelled him to go with them that he might carry his cross. They came to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, the place of a skull. They gave him sour wine to drink mixed with gall. When he had tasted it, he would not drink. When they had crucified him, they divided his clothing among them, casting lots, and they sat and watched him there. They set up over his head the accusation against him written, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then there were two robbers crucified with him, one on his right hand and one on his left. Those who passed by blasphemed him, wagging their heads and saying, You who destroyed the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests also mocking with the scribes, the Pharisees, and the elders said, He saved others, but he can't save himself. If he is the King of Israel, let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God, let God deliver him now, if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. The robbers also who were crucified with him cast on him the same reproach. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. About the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, lima sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of them who stood there when they heard it said, this man is calling Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him a drink. The rest said, Let him be. Let's see whether Elijah comes to save him. Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. Behold, the veil of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom. The earth quaked and the rocks were split. Tombs were opened and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they entered into the holy city and appeared to many. Now the centurion and those who were with him watching Jesus, when they saw the earthquake and the things that were done, feared exceedingly, saying, Truly this was the Son of God. Many women were there watching from afar who had followed Jesus from Galilee, serving him. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of the sons of Zebedee. When evening had come, a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who himself was also Jesus' disciple, came. This man went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Then Pilate commanded the body to be given up. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and departed. Mary Magdalene was there and the other Mary sitting opposite the tomb. Now on the next day, which was the day after the preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees were gathered together to Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember what that deceiver said while he was still alive. After three days I will rise again. Command, therefore, that the tomb be made secure until the third day, lest perhaps his disciples come at night and steal him away, and tell the people, He is risen from the dead, and the last deception will be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard. Go, make it as secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure, sealing the stone.